Okay, so we're going to um, clean up some data here, um, and we're going to clean up data for Heathrow. Um, and let's suppose we want to do something with the uh, total rainfall and total sunshine. Now, um, there's some problems with this data because if we were to, for instance, uh, want to find out the correlation between the two, um, then some of the values are, we assume are not recorded. For this NA, there's no value there. So if we try to um, use that value to plot a point on a spreadsheet, the computer isn't going to like it. So we have to clean the data in some way. Um, similarly, so we've got a problem there. Data is not recorded and we've got this trace element here for rainfall. Now, just a quick reminder, if we go back to the information here where it talks about total rainfall, a trace or TR of rain is an amount less than 0.05 millimetres. So we're going to have to decide what we do with that. So first of all, let's um, just select the data and take it to a new spreadsheet. So, um, control, shift, and then down. And we've got all the data. Hit it, control C, and then let's paste it in here. Control V. So, first of all, we need to make some decisions about what we're going to do to clean the data. Now, we don't know anything about these values, the sunshine um, on these particular days. So, we're just going to have to get rid of it. There's nothing we can do about it, really. And again, assuming we're doing something with correlation, we have to get rid of the corresponding rainfall for that day as well. Uh, so, um, if we, I mean, you could just go down manually, I guess, and select the values and uh, delete them. Um, it's probably, there's probably not a lot in it. Um, I think probably all those values for that this particular data set are at the top. Yeah, they are. So probably, to be honest, the easiest thing to do to clean the data here is just to um, select them um, and we'll delete them. We don't know anything about them. So I'll just delete that. And we'll shift the cells up. OK, the other problem we've got, you might have spotted, yeah, we alluded to it earlier, didn't we? Uh, these trace elements for total rainfall. So we need to do something about them. Now, we could just say, close enough to zero we'll just call all the trace elements zero um, but I don't know it feels a bit funny to me so because all the trace elements because there has been some rain on those days um, all the trace elements are somewhere between zero and 0 0.05 millimeters it seems fair to me to assume um, that they all take an average of 0 0.025 millimeters um, I'm not a meteorologist I don't know if that's a fair assumption but that's what I'm going to do here so what we'll do is if we go up to here, so on the home menu here, um, and final select, and we'll do a replacement. So we're we'll replacing of uh, TR with 0 0.025, and we'll just replace all. There we go, 29 replacements made. And there we go, our data is cleaned. So it's all numerical data now, and now we're in a position where we could say, right, let's plot a scatter diagram or something like that, and our computer isn't going to hate us because we've got non-numerical values. Lovely. Okay.